Hello, Jens. How we doing? So, welcome to part four. This is the um, playthrough of my little movie series I've made, and um, yeah, going to turn the bounty, the bounty now for Krubus. Good. Get over here. You're doing my voice. Well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right. All right. Now catch us next that's bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you. Me. They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Holy shit, should we go see him? I already told him you go. What? Oh, jeez, no, mate. Don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you. Jeez, look at this. Look at that head on him. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we're, we're, we're Gadlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I Watch. wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You, you're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Let's check out this view. Wow. All right, we're back. So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of... We should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand too. He's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. 
Oh, hey, what's hey, going on out here? We know with the talking gun. I'm the little concession man. I got illegal things for you. Come over here. You can buy. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You want it cum or what? <laughs> Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So, what? What's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? <laughs> All right, I get it. You know, you don't, you don't want my alien cum. I totally understand. It's, it's a weird thing for me to be selling. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Oh, don't worry. You you absolutely do not have to buy my alien cum. <laughs> have a good day. If you if you ever change your mind, please come back to me and buy all my alien cum. Or don't. It's fine. Either way, I'm I'm doing a weird thing over here, selling alien cum. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink, wink. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Sure thing. That was a great transaction of food for money. Goodbye. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I, think, I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all of space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! They made me run. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack bro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, 
Gene, like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain could comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweak to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a Grimble family Dick. ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Tweak. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Marvelous. Let's do that. <laughs> Screndel Bros or Dr. Giblets? Screndel. Screndel Bros. Let's do that. 2K. Yeah. Another cool landscape. Let's get. Oh shit! Uh, a moplet. What? It's you, the savior. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's us. Uh, where is everyone? Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Oh, shit. Okay, well, no guarantees we're going to save them again, but wh wh where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Thanks! Okay. All right, time to put that jetpack to good use. Nice! We're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, Bounty Hunter. Like, we're flying! Okay, this definitely must be the right way because, you know, we, we, uh, we, we haven't gone this way yet, you know? So, uh, you 
do you think Scrando Labs is like? I mean, I, I, mean, like, I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to fill the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. You know. Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me. It's fucking Helen! Oh, you're the bounty hunter who stepped up and took charge in the office and killed my boss, Krubus. Very unorthodox leadership style, but you got results. Anyway, sorry, I need to let the G3 know you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. Feel free to have some candy. You're, uh, gonna set off the alarm. Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Oh, shit, here they come. You know, hey, at least the elevators are working now. Okay, yeah, that's right, we're trespassing. This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a Furman, or, or maybe a Hurgle. I, we haven't decided yet. Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. It looks like a Fergal sitting on a dead human. Who is the scientist here, me or you, huh? Hello, John. It's Dr. Gurgiller. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantuas I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. This Dr. Gurgler guy creeps me out. Oh god, are those Gatlians? I think I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I think that one's alive! Ah. Son of a bitch! Ow! Ah. Oh, hey! You look nice! My name's Creature! The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad! In basically every way you can imagine! Holy shit, am I glad to see another cat laying alive in here! Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no! They take good care of me! Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Saying it out loud, I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in, but that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh, ah, beautiful! Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us! Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Wow, that is such a random attack, isn't it? Like... Time for me to shine! Oh, sorry to speak up without asking. It's just you should use me here. Humans, calm down. We'll save you, even though you look <laughs> super fucking gross by Gatlian standards. Welcome to school. Aw, oh, hey, don't worry. I'm sure they're still alive. 
a human. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fizzing this human with some other aliens. Just hit the button. Uh, no, you, you know, I, I don't think we're qualified to, to, to make that decision. Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. I'm just trying to be nice. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm, that wasn't supposed to happen. They died! What the fuck are you doing? Well, why, why'd you press the button, bounty hunter? getting a weapon grafted to my arm. You're gonna graft a Gatlian to my arm and that's gonna be permanent, is that right? Because I'm I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot and that I'm also gonna regret not being able to use my hand in the normal way. Can you do my right arm? I'm left-handed, so if you do my right arm, I'll still be able to write. Oh, you know what I'm thinking though? It's actually gonna be a problem because I, I'm left-handed, so I, I shoot with my left hand. So if you do my right arm, I might not be able to shoot as well. This is bad. This is probably oh, yeah. Did I tell you they can do that? They can do that. Put your cash in. Oh, oh, and if you keep piling my kids on top of a guy, they can do mind control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for us. Oh, shit. That mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. This could be pretty full on, boys. You think you can just come to hell in here and fuck with me? You know who I am? I'm Jonathan fucking Screndel, aka the Hot Screndel Brother. Up yours! Prepare to die, Screndel! Actually ran away, that's that's pretty funny man. Angela 
handles. Wanna kill him? Oh, fuck. The bounty hunter's here. Oh, Angela's leaving. I guess he's busy. What are you watching in there? Uh, I guess it's supposed to be porn, but it's like alien porn, so I, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm watching. I mean, I was able to get off to it, like, after a while. Um, honestly, now I love it, though. I'm uh, not sure why they want me to jack off this much, but, you know, I'm happy to do it. Like, all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know, there's something really endearing about it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, actually. I mean, if, if I ever get out of here, I, I hope I can... Ugh, what the hell? What, what is this? What is this? Why is this in here? I'm trying to jack off. This is really distracting to me, but I'll still be able to do it. Trust me, I, I've been through a lot. I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. All right. What? Hey, asshole, we can see you hiding in there. No, you can't. Fuck off. Let's fucking go. Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. We can stop. Chasing you if you'd like. How's it going? Ah, Jesus Christ, I just why is still following me? Hey, hey, this is all good. We get this cardio for you. That's for doing annoying oh, shield I'm stuff. Perturbable. Good. Bring it on, fuckers. We call the challenge. 
Took me about four attempts. <laughs> Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm glorpy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Nice. Hey, yeah. Uh, I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendelos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job! You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? Hmm... Yeah. Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh. That's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... To kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for part four. Thanks for hanging out. Pretty good battle there, actually. Um, yeah, till the next one. Peace.